today's video I'm really really excited about because I am doing a whole video on how I cleared up my skin and that feels so good to say because I have not felt happy with my skin like this in years like literally in my whole I don't even since I started getting acne I haven't felt like confident about my skin but I feel finally do and I am just going to be talking to you guys all about what worked for me before we get started with that a little bit of history of me with acne is I started getting acne at a very young age I started getting acne in like fourth and fifth grade like really young wasn't too bad in middle school it was probably just mild got really bad in um, ninth grade cleared up again just constant cycles of bad and clearing up bad and clearing up got super super bad um, at the end of about a year ago at this time like last summer I did clear up and then I was just I started getting acne again and it was just it's con this constant cycle of getting acne and then clearing up for a little bit and just like going on all I tried everything I literally tried everything and it, my skin was always something that was my biggest insecurity I always knew when people were looking at me and they could just like they were just like staring at my acne I used to break out mostly around my mouth which was terrible because like when I would be talking to people I just knew like they're staring right at my acne like it was yeah it was not good but I feel completely the opposite of that now I'm so happy with my skin and what were finally worked for me what I did was I went on Accutane I didn't tell you guys I was going on Accutane and honestly that's just because I didn't want people telling me not to do it because I had already made up my decision at that time and I didn't want to like I don't know I did, some people have like Accutane like journey videos and things like that and there's a ton on YouTube that you can find out about Accutane if you don't know anything about it I just wanted to kind of like do it and see how it worked for me and then if it did work for me I wanted to tell you guys about it so I'm finally done I went on Accutane for about seven or eight months I started at the beginning of November so it's been a very long time and I am done now I finished like three weeks or I finished like a month ago actually so I have a lot to talk about because probably some of you guys don't even know what Accutane is so I'm just gonna start from the way I'm just okay first of all another little bit of background is I've been going to the dermatologist for over three years now and the first time I ever went to the dermatologist they told me that they wanted to put me on Accutane because my acne was that bad this was three years ago my freshman year when it was awful and my mom didn't want me to go on Accutane um, you have to get parental permission to go on Accutane if you're not 18 so um, it's a very very intense harsh um, drug that treats acne they did want to put me on Accutane from that point forward and I tried it we just said no and we did all this other stuff and some things worked and it was just like as I told you like a constant battle but um when I turned 18 is when I went on Accutane because that's when I could make my own decision and sign things for myself as an adult. My mom didn't support my decision to go on Accutane, but at the same time, she wasn't like mad. She was like, okay, you're 18, like, if you want to do it, you can do it. But like, I personally, like, if you weren't 18, like, I wouldn't let you go on it because there's um, a lot of things that can happen to your body. So why Accutane is so intense and crazy, you can really only get on it if you have pretty severe acne at this time I personally think I did I have before pictures that I will just go ahead and play right now while I'm talking they're pretty they're pretty bad in my opinion so if you don't want to look you don't have to look but this is what my skin looked like either in October or November I don't remember when I took these pictures but it was right before I went on Accutane and I don't even remember my skin looking like that I also have after pictures I'll enter the after pictures now I guess of I took them last week so that's what my skin looks like now. Both of those pictures were taken with no makeup on and I think it literally looks a million times better. I still have some acne scarring but I'm so happy with my skin. Alright, <laughs> now that all that's over, okay. Accutane, as I said, is a very, very intense drug for severe acne. So you're not going to get on Accutane if you just have like a couple zits, like you really it's not easy to get on but if you do struggle a lot with acne and like have pretty severe acne then you should be able to get on it you have to get it from a dermatologist it's a prescription um, pill that you take every single day for a certain number of time 
and um, that's personally what worked for me. Accutane is like a last resort for a lot of people. It was a last resort for me. I had heard amazing stories of, I watched so many videos on YouTube of people that went on Accutane and just said amazing things about it. And um, I've known people in real life that went on it and their skin got so much better. So I, I was very happy. I was excited to go on it because I, I really did think that it would work for me and it did work for me. It worked great for me. Some people are allergic to it. Some people physically can't take it for some reasons, but I obviously like was able to take it. But it's very, it's so intense because especially if you're a girl on um, Accutane, if you, you have to take two forms of birth control while you're on Accutane because if you get pregnant, because if you're not taking the birth control and you get pregnant while you're taking Accutane, it's basically guaranteed that your baby will have some form of birth defects. So that is why Accutane is like such a like intense drug. It's very, there's a lot of controversy around it. Like some of you probably watching this, like don't believe in it at all. Um, there's a lot of side effects that can happen. Also like that's another thing about it, the side effects. So what I was saying was you have to take two forms of birth control. So you have to take like birth control pills and then decide like if you're going to use like if you're okay, I'm not going to go into this like condoms or something like that, you know, like another form of birth control you have to like say another one. It's just it's very like intense like that. So you do have to take birth control while you're on it and there's a lot of side effects that can happen to you from um Accutane. They're not like all guaranteed, but there's a ton on, oh my god, I have a list of the side effects that happened to me, but um, the most intense ones that some people have experienced are some people have experienced depression, like suicide thoughts, so that's why it's really, really, like, it can affect your mood. Um, personally, for me, I don't feel like my mood was affected at all. I don't think I was depressed at all because of Accutane. I didn't experience, I don't think, I basically just don't think it changed my mood, which was great. Like, definitely for most people it doesn't, but there's always that chance that it can. Um, and then there's a ton of other <laughs> lovely side effects that I will tell you about. But honestly, before I tell you all of the stuff that kind of like sucked that happened to me, um, not sucked that bad, I mean it could have been a lot worse. I do still think in my mind that it was worth it just because my skin was my skin is so important to me and like you know I have a job where I have to be on camera like up close on camera all the time my skin just it was the thing that bothered me so much so um like having these few you know kind of like sucky side effects was definitely worth it for me um, in the long run because I do have clear skin now and if you're wondering um, I, I feel like there's so much to talk about this is gonna be a really long video but I want you guys to like know everything it's a last resort for people because it's just like the most intense thing like it will pretty much nip your acne in the butt if it works for you and it's supposed to um, last like a very long time like I'm supposed to just have clear skin now so um I've been off of it as I said for like a month and my skin's still really really good some people have to take two rounds of Accutane but you only really have to do that if by the end of your first round which is like eight months it like isn't showing improvements so some people have to take it like two or three times which is crazy okay anyway on to the side effects that I experienced all right the first one basically everyone that goes on Accutane is going to experience this is just super dry lips. I That is why I loved my Aquaphor so much. Oh my gosh, Aquaphor was my best friend. I had to get like even prescribed this really intense like, it was called like this ointment that I can, I still use it. I can um, put it on my lips or I could put it on dry skin um, because basically what Accutane does is it, how did I not say this in the beginning? <laughs> My mind is just so scattered because I feel like I have so much to talk about. But basically what Accutane does is it completely stops your oil glands from producing oil in your body and that's how it clears your skin. So you get very, very dry because you don't have the oils and like the water in your body as it should be. So you get super, super dry. So um, basically everyone that's going to go on it is going to experience really dry lips. You have to moisturize them. I literally had to put on chapstick every two minutes but that... If re it's really not that big, big of a deal. I would just like bring it in my pocket or my purse everywhere I went. And if I <laughs> if I didn't have it, I would like ask until somebody had it. Um, yeah, I mean that part kind of sucked, but and my lips are still dry as I've been off of it, but not like not that bad. And also, obviously, like dry skin. I didn't have um, like overall 
dry skin really that bad like my whole body wasn't like dry and peeling like nothing gross like that um but my hands in the winter time i do remember were very dry how do i describe this there was like little red bumps like it looked like a rash i have actually have a picture of it that i'll insert i did take pictures of this stuff because i wanted to like have I knew I was going to do this video, so I took like pictures of this stuff and like before and after pictures and I'm really really glad that I did that because I remember like these symptoms and obviously I remember like what it looked like before now because I have those pictures. But yeah, I, I just remember when it was really really cold. Um, I would like put on hand cream but it wouldn't really help that much. It almost looked like a rash on the backs of my hands when it was really cold, so I was kind of not fun. <laughs> and it would like sting too. Ugh, that was not fun but that didn't last that long that was just like when I was exposed to like really coldness like I remember I had that when I was like in New York in the winter and stuff um, another thing is I I doubt this was just me but also because you're so dry I was always dying of thirst still to this day I have drink I have started drinking so much more water like I have to have water with me it's just like the chapstick I have to bring water with me in the car even if I'm going somewhere like five minutes away I have a glass of water right here I have to have it on my bedside table at night like and I mean I was decent at drinking water before but I got so good at drinking water because like my my mouth and throat is always dry always dry um, and that's like just because you know like it dries out your whole body so that is something that happens um, I don't know if that happens to everyone but I just like had constant like dry mouth dry throat overall <laughs> thirstiness <laughs> um, yeah let's see what else um, I got sick more than I've ever not like bad sick but I got colds. I had like constant colds the entire time pretty much that I was on it like I just remember like just like constantly being sick I think your immune system is weakened when you're on it this is something that I don't know that much about but I just I don't know if this is a side effect but I definitely know that I was sick more than like I've ever been when I was on Accutane so that was not <laughs> that was not fun I just like constantly had colds it was just basically colds I don't think it was anything like terrible but um it was just like annoying and my immune system I think was definitely weakened because of it and um, other than that I would get like this is another side effect sore muscles and like after I would work out and stuff or while I was working out like my muscles would just kind of be sore but that's something I'm used to I experienced that a lot like from like going to the gym and like working out I'll have sore muscles like it's just it's not it's really not that bad and last thing I wrote down here was headaches you can get headaches oh I actually forgot there's one more but um I didn't get that bad of headaches at all but I remember cause I've never really gotten bad headaches like no migraines or anything but I do remember just getting like a few more headaches than normal when I when I was on it so for that you can you know take a couple Excedrin or Advil or something like that it's, it's not that bad um, I, something that I forgot to say that did happen to me was I had like weird vision problem, not vision problems, but stuff with my eyes. That was kind of strange and I actually still like, I just went to the eye doctor the other day because I feel like I have a list to go into. I don't really know how to explain it. Let me first start off with, it was like when I would wake up sometimes in the mornings, my eyes would be, um, this is kind of gross, but they would literally be like filled like blurry my vision would be blurry and my eyes would like have like kind of like pus in them I know this sounds really gross but like it would kind of go away by like the time I was done like doing my makeup and stuff getting ready for school that was just gross and annoying and that didn't happen like every day but it would be like an occasional thing that would happen and my vision would be blurry for like the first like 30 minutes I was awake or something and I would just be like what is this this is weird so I went to the eye doctor when that first started happening and also um I remember like I think it was both of them but recently it's been this one my eyes just kind of like hurt in general like I have a little bump here under my eyes I went to the eye doctor and it's nothing serious and he said it's because I went on Accutane and I saw him for like the eye doctor for the exact same thing a few months ago and it was because of the Accutane and it's just like I don't really know how to explain it it's not anything like very serious but um, my eye would just like hurt when I blinked or something like that and it was not fun and I'm pretty sure it happened to this eye sometimes too I honestly don't even remember because this stuff would happen to me so often that I, I like I literally can't even remember um, but that's all the side effects I wrote down so those are the things that I experienced 
I mean, it could have been worse. I didn't have any, obviously, as I said, it didn't affect my mood, I don't think. Um, but those were kind of like the things that you have to sacrifice if you want clear skin from Accutane. I'm not saying like you should take Accutane, but if you're going to take Accutane, know that, you know, maybe some of these things will happen to you and it kind of sucks, but it's just something you have to deal with. All right, so other stuff you should know about if you're curious about Accutane is that you are more sensitive to the sun when you're on Accutane. It's a very good idea to take it in the winter or the fall. Um, and as for the cycles, I did take it for like seven, eight months. I took it for like seven and a half months. I didn't take my last like couple weeks of pills. Some people are finished with it in like four or five months. But for me, like I really didn't start seeing amazing changes until like pretty much the last like few months. You might only take it for like four or five months and then be done. Um, it just, it really does just depend. As I was saying, yeah, you're more sensitive to the sun, so it's not a good idea really to take it like during the summer. But at the same time, I really didn't experience that much, experience that that much. Like I went on spring break um, to the beach when I was taking it and I just wore really high SPF. Like I literally wore SPF 100 or SPF 70 and I was fine. I definitely like it can get a terrible sunburn if you just go out completely unprotected and you're taking it. So definitely wear some SPF if you're going to be out in the sun a long time on it. Um, so know that. You also can't get your eyebrows waxed, which definitely affected me. I haven't had these waxed in since probably October. You can pluck them, but you can't get them waxed because um, your skin is so like thin and sensitive that this is gonna kind of scare you, but apparently if you do get them waxed while you're on it, you can, like, the when they pull it up, like, your skin might start to bleed. It's just like scary stuff, so I was like, I'm not taking any chances. Like, my dermatologist said, don't get your eyebrows waxed, so I listened to that advice. And, um, oh, as I already said, I had this written down, you have to take the two forms of birth control, so you will, like, discuss that with your dermatologist, but that also, like, if you're gonna take birth control, that also can help to clear up your skin, which is great. It just, like, takes a few months. And then, um, other than that, um, as I said, I took it for seven to eight months, and my pills were 40 milligrams. Um, and I would take that once a day. It was like, they really weren't that big. They were like this big. Um, and I am glad that they weren't really big because I cannot swallow like really big pills. It like is a phobia of mine. So they were like pretty small. The only annoying thing about them is the ones that I had were really hard to get out of the package. Like I had to like dig really hard. Like it was all these like layers. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, it was fine though. I got, I got over that. Also towards the end, I alternated because um, you, I took 40 milligrams and that was just based on like my weight. The dermatologist will tell you how much you should take based off of just kind of like how much you weigh. Towards the end, um, when we wanted to just kind of like nip it in the butt, the last I think two months I alternated taking one pill and then the next day I would take two pills, the next day I would take one, and the next day I would take two um, because there's not a 60 milligram of Accutane, there's a 40 and I think there's an 80 so to like even it out um, the dermatologist told me to alternate so that's what I did. I'm so glad that I took Accutane. I'm not trying to like say you should take it if you want clear skin because as I said it's it's pretty hard to get on but um, it was kind of like my last resort and um, I really didn't notice like how much my skin improved until I looked a few months ago at my before pictures and I was just like amazed like because I don't even remember my skin looking like that but I guess I guess it I, it did and I'm so happy and I really hope that my skin stays clear um, and basically when you're on it you just use gentle products like that's the main thing you're supposed to do is just like take the pills and wait with time you're supposed to just do really gentle stuff like I would just like wash my face with a gentle cleanser and like moisturize but nothing like you're not supposed to use like spot treatments and stuff um, while you're on it. That's about all I can think to say. I'm probably forgetting like a million things but this video has probably already been super long so I'm gonna go ahead and end it but um, yeah I just wanted to tell you guys what worked for me so if you also struggle with pretty bad acne and you've tried a lot of things and this is something that you think would be interesting I mean like if this is something you're interested in then talk to your dermatologist about it because 
you have to go to a dermatologist to get on Accutane. There's a lot of controversy behind it, so if you don't believe in it or you don't support it, I probably should have said this at the beginning, that's totally fine. It just is personally what worked for me, and I'm very, very, very glad that I took it despite the side effects that I had. I don't regret it at all, even though it kind of sucked when I was on it. It was worth it for me in the end because I've never been so happy with my skin and I just I love my skin now and I've never been able to say that so um, I'm super happy with how it works for me and that is how I cleared my skin so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one bye